John, you still on for lunch? No. Well, no is actually a very strong word. When you say no alone, you could sound a bit angry and too straightforward. No. People might be offended if you just give them a single no. No. No, just like that. Just like that. Marry me, Jan. No. No. Just like that. No. No. So today, I'm gonna share with you three other ways to say no nicely. Next time, when you want to reject someone or turn people down politely, you will know what to say. Welcome to Show Me English. I'm Frank. In this channel, I make videos and help you learn English with some of the best American movies and TV shows. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one, I'm sorry I can't. I'm sorry I can't. Dad, I I I can't. I'm sorry. Look. Instead of saying no, you can say, "I'm sorry, I can't." I'm sorry, Dad, I can't. Especially when people ask you for a favor or invite you to do something, you might hear people say, "I won't," but "can't" and "won't" are actually very different. When you say "I won't," it means you're not willing to do it. I won't. You won't. You won't. It's very direct. If you still want to be nice and polite about it. Don't say I won't. On the other hand, can't means ability. You're not able to do it. I'm sorry, Ted. I can't. Mark Johnson, the quarterback from the high school football team, already asked me. There is usually a reason for that. It sounds better, and people will be more likely to understand if you say I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I've got work to do. All right. I've got work to do. That is a very good reason to turn someone down. When you simply cannot give up your seat, I'm sorry, I can't. When your dad invites you to have a cup of coffee together, sit down, have a cup of Joe. No, I, I, <laughs> no, Dad, I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. Look, a cup of Joe here in America means a cup of coffee. Have a cup of Joe. No, I, besides, I'm sorry, I can't. We sometimes start the sentence with "I'm afraid I can't." All right, now let me out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. You can add different verbs after I can't, like I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is usually said in a more formal setting, when you want a promotion at work and your boss says, "I'm afraid I can't promote you." What? I'm afraid I can't promote you. In this scene with total strangers, he turned them down by saying, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you." I'm afraid I can't help you. Number two, I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I could, but I wish I could. I wish I could is also said a lot. It means in reality you actually can't. Listen, pal, I wish I could, but I can't. I'm sorry. I've gotta come right now and fix it. I can't. I wish I could, but I can't leave. That's why we usually say I wish I could and follow with a but and a reason. I wish I could. I wish I could, but I act. I'm actually going back tomorrow. I wish I could, but I don't know how I can help her without hurting you. When your kids ask you to teach them how to play the piano, Dad, can you teach us to play? Uh, I wish I could. This way of saying no is called soften the blow. Imagine saying no is like a strike. Soften the blow means to say something before no to make it easier for people to understand. Number three, I'm good. You know that when people ask you how are you or how are you doing, you can reply I'm fine or I'm good. How you doing there, Robert? I'm good. But did you know when people offer you food or help, you can still say I'm good. Can I get you anything? You know what? I'm good. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Think of food? No, thank you. I'm fine. Oh, come on. In this case, you actually mean no. So when someone says, "Can I get you anything?" you can reply, "I'm good." This is usually said casually. You want to have Bissell fix your sandwich? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. You can also use these short sentences when people offer you help.、Uh, can I help you? No, no. Eat my muffin out there. Do you want a bag? For that? No, I'm good. Or invite you to do something. Who wants to wrestle? I'm in. All right. 
I'm good. I'm good. Gotcha. So when you find a single no too short and too direct, you can say, "No, I'm fine," or "No, I'm good." This will soften the blow and make you sound a lot better. All right. Today we learned how to say no in a much better way. You can say, "I'm sorry, I can't." I'm afraid I can't. I wish I could. I'm good or I'm fine. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Show me English. I'm Frank. I'll see you next time.